Steve, how important is a visit like this this Christmas to the young children in the local community? It's very important. You know, it's this time of year when we have to think about everybody, as well as uh, you know, more importantly, the, the people that's poorly. So, yeah, these people come to support us when they're well. So we've got to come and support them when they're not well. And I know these type of visits are important to your heart, aren't they? Because you were the man who instigated last Easter a visit to John Eastwood Hospice, just a stone's throw away from here. Yeah, it's very important times like this that you're looking after people that aren't so well as we are at the moment. And uh, yes, John Eastwood Hospice is in our hearts as well as Kings Mill Hospital. It's a community football club that, uh, that John and Carolyn and the board of directors have put together. And we've got to support that community with all their needs, whether it's through the turnstiles to watch our beloved team or in places like Kings Mill and John Eastwood where they need our help and needs. And just while we've got you, because uh, we don't speak to you that regularly, perhaps as much as uh, we'd like, but you and I have gone a long way back at this club. Uh, ten years ago, you were one of the original owners. You've been kept on, of course, as, as a director. What change have you seen in this last decade, Steve, at the club? Oh, it's phenomenal. Uh, put my supporter head on rather than my director head. This club is in the best position that it has ever been in in my 54 years that I've been coming. Really, really pleased and chuffed a bit with what's happening. And what's been at the centre of that motion, that move? I think a togetherness. When we first walked into the club, it was alienated from uh, the people from the past. And we tried to install a togetherness with the supporters, with the, with the staff, with the board. And then John and Carolyn, when they came along, they've continued it and grown it even further. Uh, and with the professionalism of Paul and Tina running the club as well, it's, it's what dreams are made of. What have you been most proud of in this last decade, to see and view at first hand, both as a director and as a fan? Well, personally, I believe if we hadn't bought the club when we did, I don't think we would have a club now. But where we are today, on and off the pitch with, with the Woburn development just opening shortly, and with what's happening around the uh, One Call Stadium, uh, and on the pitch, as you can see, with Saturday's great result against our local rivals, Notts County, everything is coming together. And, and our aim is keep under the radar and do the best we can this season on the pitch and continue off the pitch. And how do you rate the job that David Flickcroft, the manager, is doing? Oh, very honest guy. Uh, his whole management team, he speaks to us all regularly, the way he speaks, no ego. He's here to do a job. The football, the friendly, the professionalism, Everything is going in the right direction. I mean, the style of football we're playing at the moment is as good as I've seen for a long, long time. Thank you, Steve. Good to speak to you as ever. Thank you.